Got to replace some rotten wood and install a window. Hey everybody, this is Bill with Live Simple Live Free. Let me show you what we're doing today. Now a couple weeks ago, you'll remember, we rebuilt that entire wall right there. We replaced all the rotten wood with good wood down at the bottom, installed that window, installed the, uh, the French doors. So now we got to work on this side where the rod is down there. Take this whole wall out. We're going to eliminate that door. We're going to put in a good size window right here to match the size of that one over there. So let's get started. Just trying to see what's loose. Oh, hello, Live Simple Live Free. Yeah. Nastiness. Yeah. The rod only goes over about this far. Just that one little section. I'm trying to get the glass out so I don't end up breaking it. I have a tendency to do that. Now here we've got all the rotten, all, I mean all the wood stripped away so we can see what's rotten. And this one, this side is a little bit worse than the other side in that some of the flooring is involved, just this little section. But the actual rotten part is only from there to there, about three feet. So it's really not all that bad. And the studs are good, but the stringer is bad. So we'll replace the stringer from about here over and then the, the box here across and this all the uh, floor joists are still good so this really isn't as bad as it could be and then of course we have to frame in the window right up here so 
So Barry will be working on replacing the rotten wood. There's not enough room in that corner for two of us anyway, so it's really only a one-man job. But while he's doing that, I'm going to be framing out the other window in this wall right here. Okay, so now Barry's got that outside band done, and he's, we got this uh, stringer on the bottom of the wall replaced, and there's a bad spot on the stud right there, and another one right here. So he's just going to cut out a little section and scab in a short piece, and then put in another one next to it to strengthen it, and then we should be good to go. Okay, they always come with extra parts. Yeah. So now we put this in here, which is a little tight, just the way it should be. Then we'll scab this in right next to it and nail it all up.
So as I've mentioned before, Barry works longer hours here than I do because, you know, I'm old. <laughs> and so when I left yesterday, we had just finished replacing all the rotten wood and framing the wall, but it was still bare studs. So I come in this morning and Bruce and Barry had continued to work after I left. Come in this morning and I see that they have all the, uh, the T111 finished on the outside and they have the window installed. So I'm thinking it's looking very good. So there's the side that we did a couple of weeks ago, and then the chimney, and then here's the new part. The door used to be right there, and we've eliminated and put in a window. Over here we were able to reuse some of the old T111 that was still wasn't bad, and then of course over here is the new stuff. Now in my last video I showed removing that wall that came all the way down here that you had to duck under. And I showed taking that out and finishing it all like this. And I got a lot of comments, questions, why we didn't remove all this and take it all the way to the ceiling. Well, several reasons. <clears throat> I guess uh, people don't like this aesthetically. They'd rather have it go all the way up. Personally, I don't have any problem with it, the way it looks. And when you get in here, there's plenty of room. I'm 6'1", so there's all kinds of room in here. That's not the problem. But the main thing is, this is actually, the way it's framed, this is actually part of the ceiling. It's not in, uh, insulation up here. It's actually insulation right here. And so we would have to reframe all of that and insulate it further up. Another issue that is that this is a textured ceiling. And I've talked many times about how difficult it is to match a textured ceiling. So if we took this out, took it all the way up, then I'd have that whole big section where I'd have to try to match the textured ceiling and I guarantee you it would look like a patch no matter what you do it's going to look like a patch so bottom line it was just way too much work and we saw no reason for it because there's plenty of headroom here and quite frankly until people started asking why I didn't remove that it never even crossed my mind that I should so anyway I hope that makes sense that's why it's staying the way it is It just seems like it's taking forever to get this spackling done, but it just, you know, always goes a little bit faster when you have somebody to help. Come on guys, hurry up. Speed it up a little bit here.
finished with the spackling in that one room, the fourth bedroom, um, but the spackling in the rest of this house just is ongoing. Seems like it's taking forever. This is the uh, above the island in the kitchen where there's a couple of lights there that will go down onto the, the sink and the countertop there. So I'm doing this now. So, thanks for watching. This simple, live free. You be blessed. See you next time.